Oya was shot April 4, 2022 by an officer who had unnecessary violent force. Stillcase wanted to recognize Leoya's situation and through the quote, Youth Care and Voice Mini Grant quote, invited East Kenwood High School students to do something to make his memory more honored. They identified East Kenwood High School as an artistic and collaborative force in the community and connected with the Visual Art Department for help. As a result, a group of students and teachers willingly accepted the challenge. Leoila and his family were world refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo and came to Michigan in 2015. Patrick is more than a victim of police brutality. He was a son of Peter and Douglas Loyola, as well as the son of his second mother who resides in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Patrick was a brother to his five siblings, a father of two daughters, and a friend to many in the Grand Rapids African community. The East Kentwood High School Visual Art Department understood the extremity of the situation and wanted to create something that would etch permanently into the minds of many. We wanted to create a piece that fully incorporated his culture, personality, and identity so that he can be remembered for more than his fatal incident. We incorporated his cultural fabric and his unique sense of fashion that established who he was as a person. Our hope is that this piece also speaks more broadly to the African refugee community and how language barriers, culture norms, and trauma reactions impact behaviors. As students at EKHS, we are proud to celebrate the rich diversity and contributions of all of our students. Patrick Lee Oya's story resonated with art students who share the classroom with our refugee peers, particularly students who identify closely with the Congolese community. We came together to have a conversation to amplify Lee Oya's story. Local Grand Rapids artist Monroe O'Brien worked alongside us sharing his compelling photography while keeping the conversation real and fearless. The co that conversation evolved into a story with art. Through the process of painting the portrait, we created a space to observe, to share, to listen, and take agency through art making. Leoya's family offered a collection of recent pho photographs unveiling his remarkable style. On Photoshop, we digitally posterized his face to project on a large canvas. Drawn to his bold, elegant fashion, we selected patterns from his garments through compounding the scale, repeating patterns, and juxtaposing expressive shapes with acrylic paint onto the canvas. Wax print fabric imported from southeastern Africa frames the portrait. We hand painted the Democratic Republic of the Congo flag colors of red, blue, and yellow on the border fabric. Retired art teacher and professional quilter Virginia Varenga brought her sewing machine and tools to the studio space. Her expertise in both art and sewing was invaluable knowledge to finish the piece and have it ready to hang. Art students work tirelessly during school and after school with a paintbrush, adding their mark on the portrait. This larger than life portrait will honor and encourage our peers to feel the anger, sadness, and frustration as we consider what should have been done and needs to change. The artwork is created by East Kenwood High School students in honor of Patrick Leoya. The project is funded by a mini grant from Steelcase Corporation. We have been honored to collaborate with the Glimpse of Africa and artist Moron O'Brien of Quote, a Fearless Brother Project, Quote. Through the mentorship of East Kenwood art teachers, Leigh Tran, Kimberly Myers Boss, and Olivia Miller, students teamed up and dedicated many hours in and outside of school to create the tribute to Patrick Loyola and the African community. Lastly, the quilted portrait has been submitted to Art Prize as of June 2022.